Hello everyone. This is the fandom meme. Meme? Mem? Meme? What? I don't know. I don't care. Whatever. It's the fandom internet thing. Mem meme number one, Lord of the Rings. What got you into this fandom in the first place? My best friend Pete. Do you participate in this fandom? You know what? Why don't you go to this video right here and see if that just doesn't go ahead and answer this question. Do you think you'll stay with this fandom or will you eventually move on? This fandom will always be a part of me. Favorite episode slash movie slash book slash etc. I have to admit that I've never actually read the books in full. I have read The Hobbit and uh, I do know a lot about the content in the books, but um, I just, I've never been a big fan of Tolkien's writing style. I mean, I like to use my imagination to picture uh, settings in books uh, when I'm reading them, and when I have every single visual detail fed straight to me, I feel suffocated. I feel like I'm just observing a book rather than interacting with it. My favorite movie is kind of tough to nail down, but I'd have to say probably The Two Towers, but only just barely, because all three movies are great. Do you think that more people should get into this fandom? Absolutely. Fandom number two, Harry Potter. What got you into this fandom in the first place? I don't know. I was too young at the time to remember. Probably my mom. Do you participate in this fandom? Not as much as I could. I don't go to midnight showings of the movies just because they're kind of loud and crowded for my taste. Um, I do listen to Pottercast. I love Wizard Rock and I check out the Leaky Cauldron from time to time. Um, I like discussing Harry Potter, certainly, and um, I just recently went to my first Wizard Rock show. And, um, I'd like to go to conventions at some point. Um, uh, I probably will eventually. And I did meet J.K. Rowling once, um, when I was much younger at a book signing near where I live. Um, so that was cool. She's a very nice lady. Do you think you'll stay with this fandom, or will you eventually move on? I think I'll probably stay a Harry Potter fan for a very long time, if not the rest of my life. Favorite episode slash movie slash book slash etc.? Honestly... I've thought about this question a lot, and the jury's still out. I'm sorry. I just, I, 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 st I still don't know. I've really tried to figure it out, but I don't have an answer for this one. Sorry. Do you think that more people should get into this fandom? I think that people should give the books a chance, if nothing else. I mean, I understand that not everyone is really the fandom type, and I understand that Harry Potter, you know, just isn't for everyone. But, you know... I think that giving it a try is worthwhile. Fandom number three, Spider-Man. What got you into this fandom in the first place? I used to play with Spider-Man toys when I was a little kid just because I thought they looked kind of cool. I did watch the 90s series. Um, I started reading the comic books uh, just a few years ago when I sort of uh, picked up a volume of The Ultimate Spider-Man on a whim. And uh, I think that's when I officially joined the fandom was when I started actually reading the comics. Do you participate in this fandom? Absolutely. I mean, I read encyclopedias on Spider-Man. I constantly read internet articles about him. Uh, Wikipedia entries that have something to do with Spider-Man, I read those a lot. Uh, and, you know, if, if I had the figure for it, uh, you can bet that I would dress up as Spider-Man every single year for Halloween. Do you think you'll stay with this fandom, or will you eventually move on? Spidey will always be a part of my life. No question there. Favorite episode slash movie slash book slash etc.? This is kind of a weird one to answer because of the nature of Spider-Man as an entity, but I'll do my best. I couldn't just pick one issue of Spider-Man as my particular favorite comic book. Um, if I mean, even if I tried, I couldn't make that kind of distinction. Um, but I can probably say that out of all my favorite different series, you know, The Amazing Spider-Man, The Spectacular Spider-Man, The Ultimate Spider-Man, um, and there, there's a lot more than that, but those, you know, just three random ones. Um, I'd have to say that the Ultimate Spider-Man is my favorite so far. Uh, Brian Bendis is just a fantastic writer. I love the artwork and uh, Bendis just handles the series really well. So that's probably my favorite comic book series. In terms of televised series, my favorite is the Spectacular Spider-Man. Stan Lee is personally involved in the show, which is always a really good thing when it comes to Spider-Man. And um, the stories are sort of uh, based on giving a more modern feel to the original uh, Amazing Spider-Man comic book series, you know, which was the first one that was ever created. 
And uh, the stories have kind of a sort of complex, intertwined nature that people my age can appreciate. But um, they're also uh, very, uh, they have this well-executed simplicity about them uh, that, you know, the younger kids can enjoy. Um, uh, plus the visual style and the character design is quite superb. Um, but the, the only flaw with the series really is Craven the Hunter. Um, they sort of abandoned the normal human look that Craven's always had and made him into a bloody thundercat. But if that's the only complaint I have about a TV series, then that TV series is pretty darn good. When it comes to the movie series, I'm still undecided. However, very soon I will be doing a week-long comparison of the three movies that will come in five parts, and um, that will answer my, uh, my question on which movie is my favorite. So um, I'm going to put a link uh, over there in the sidebar and one here in my hand once uh, that video series is up, and you can find out there. Do you think that more people should get into this fandom? Absolutely. Spider-Man, in my opinion, is the greatest superhero of all time. And I think that everyone would be better off with a little bit of the webhead in their lives. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you would like to participate in the fandom meme mem, you need only look down there. And uh, this video is a response to the original fandom meme mem video. Uh, watch that one all the way through, and it will explain exactly what to do. Later.